There'll be an opportunity here on Douglas Promenade for people to find out a little bit more about the challenges faced by the visually impaired. Vision Awareness Week is coming up and I'm with Debbie from the Manx Blind Welfare Society. Uh, what's happening here, Debbie, first of all? OK, on Sunday the 21st of September, we're hoping to hold the Ireland's largest ever sighted guiding walk. Um, we're asking people to come along. It's a free event and you come along, registration from 2 o'clock, and you can come along and try and find out um, what it's like to be visually impaired. We'll be paired up and one person will be guiding the other person who is blindfolded and we'll give you the skills needed to actually guide that person safely and with dignity. And we'll be walking from the War Memorial all the way up to the Empress and then back again. And if halfway during along you don't feel like being blindfolded anymore you can swap with your partner and then walk back again. And, and what else do you have planned? Okay, well on Monday uh, we're launching the week, our Vision Awareness Week, with a talk at the Manx Museum by Steve Cunningham, who is the world's fastest blind man. He holds three world records, the blind land speed record, the blind powerboat record, and also he was the first person to fly around the UK blind. So v Vision Awareness Week itself, what, what's the aim of it? Um, it's to significantly, significantly raise the awareness of the problems faced by visually impaired people on the Isle of Man and highlight the services that are available. And it's not just for visually impaired people, it's for anybody. You can learn about good eye health, what you can do now to help your eye health in the future. Okay, and Samantha, um, turning to you, could you talk us through some of the challenges that you face on a day-to-day on -day basis? There are a, a difference, there is a difference between being visually impaired and being blind and naturally when somebody sees somebody with a white cane, they'll automatically say, oh, they're blind, when they're not. They might have light perception, they might be partially sighted, and they also might be totally blind, which is what I am, which means I don't see um, anything, and I don't have light, light and dark perception at all. Um, so in, ter in terms of, say, for example, you're, you're, you're walking down the street, what, what, are, what are some of the difficulties you might encounter? The likes of things being left outside of shops, um, like boards, advertising boards, tables, um, when you're walking past cafes, chairs, people walking past and not taking you into consideration, um, those with prams or push chairs not going round you, expecting you to go round them. And, and is that something that happens a lot, would you say? Yes, it is. I've had, when me and my nan have been walking together in town, I've had people, when I've been being guided, shoulder charge me and actually say to me, would you mind looking where you're going? And my nan has had to say to them, you know, she can't see you. Because to them, I look like somebody quite ignorant that's not wanting to move out of their way. But they're, not, they're failing to take into consideration that I have a white cane, which means, OK, they don't know that I'm totally blind, but it means I have a sight problem. So, so do you think that Vision Awareness Week is, is, is quite important then for, for people to get involved in? I do, yes, um, because there have been other occasions where I've been walking to the shops on my own in my local area and there have been the likes of delivery wagons and lorries with the double engines that have parked blocking my path and then when I've asked for assistance they've blatantly ignored me and carried on their morning conversation. <laughs> they've seen my cane and not spoken to me, not, not acknowledged my need for assistance. So, so uh, Debbie, it's important then to get this message across, isn't it? Yes, it's one of the things we'll be doing throughout the week because we have road shows around the island. We're taking our services and what we do around the island. So on Monday we'll be at Cast I'm sorry, on Tuesday we'll be at Cast Town Civic Centre. On Wednesday we'll be at Corrin Hall in Peel. Thursday, um, Ramsey Town Hall, and Friday will be at Doug, uh, Douglas and Promenade Church. We'll be there with our, some of our equipment, our partner organisations, information about eye health, and even if you want to come along and have a confidential chat with somebody, there'll be our representatives there. Or just find out what there might be available for a friend or family member in the future.